What's up, YouTube? Random Anime, and today I got with me BDA Bravo DX. Hey, what's up, y'all? We're gonna talk about our uh, top four Yonko, who we think are the particular uh, strongest. And I'm really interested to see uh, how much different my list is than his, because mine might be a little different. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right, All right. man. So I'm gonna let you uh, jump in here first and give your uh, list. All right. So my top four Yonko, as far as the ranks. So. Four, like, do you want us to go through as far as their strength or as like their um the overall? I uh, will leave out their crew. We'll just do the they, four they're individuals. They're okay, just them. All right, so four. I'm gonna say Big Mom at four because we don't really know a lot about her, but just off the strength, Big Mom at four sounds good. Um, three. I'ma put Shanks. I know that's funny. Oh. A lot of people don't think that. Yo, <laughs> I'm gonna put Shanks right now. I got Shanks at three. All right. Two, I got Kaido. Um, I got to put Kaido above Shanks and Big Mom for various reasons. And one, obviously Blackbeard, bro. Blackbeard, nice. We, <laughs> we, are, we are on the same page almost, but we're, we're, we're off too. Uh, <laughs> what you got? Number four, I got Big Man. Okay. I, I don't know much about her, you know, so there she uh -huh. is. Three, okay. I got Kaido. I think Kaido, wow. he's, he, he's a beast. Two, okay. two, I got Shanks. Ah, okay, okay. Now, Shanks, man, the, Shanks has been there since the jump of the series, you know. Okay. And then number one, I got Blackbeard. We're on the same page right there. Right, right. Of course, Blackbeard. I mean, it makes sense for Blackbeard to be number one. But let's talk number four. Why you got Big Mom in number four? Uh, honestly, we j I just don't know anything about it. Right, right. If I, mean, I had just... anything to go on, I might place her higher. I just, there's just nothing to be known about her right now. I'm, I'm with you. Like, right now, we don't know a lot about Big Mom, but I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up being, like, one of the strongest, like, number two or three. I mean, probably two, two or some, two or so, because um, we assume she has, like, the witch witch fruit that is so big, and it can be expanded so much. So I wouldn't be surprised, but right now, we don't know a lot about her. Her character design is, you know, pretty... I don't like ass. the design at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I'm hoping she has, like, a Dragon Ball Z transformation oh. or something. I like mean, she, she, she like looks, Alita, she's right? iffy. Like, that's just like her ugly form. Right, she right, is. man. Maybe she's like Alvita or something. She'll come exactly. back. Exactly, <laughs> bro. Hopefully that's the case. Oh, uh, man. But, you know, I think that form, it might lead itself. Once we know what her devil fruit is, maybe it'll come into play. Exactly. So, so your three was? Uh, Kaido. Kaido. Why do you have Kaido in? I, it's not because I don't think Kaido's a monster. It's just because of Shanks and Blackbeard. You know what I mean? I got you. I like, got you. Know, you. We take Kaido, man. He's, his durability is off the charts. He's got to be right. the most durable out of all of them. Right. And other than that, I really don't know too much. See, like, the thing is, I ha I put um, Shanks at three. Right. Because off the mere fact, uh, for Kaido, we got he's the strongest creature alive. Yes. Right. And that could mean a wide array of things, but off of that, at least we have something to go off and say, okay, at least Kaido is the strongest something. Right, right. He's, I mean, he's got that uh, he's got that thing around him. He's got a title. Exactly. But I never trust those titles because you remember back in the day with Don Krieg, they were like the strongest man in the seas. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Don Krieg had that, that one. That was Obviously, that was fake. Right. So, I mean, I think Kaido lives up to his name much more than yeah, that. You know? For sure. For sure. But the thing is with... um. With Shanks, though, we don't really know much at all. Like, and then from what we've seen from Shanks, we've seen the, the hockey, and we've seen um, he's dueled with the best swordsman in the world. But Shanks hasn't really done much. And you know, we <laughs> in the beginning of the series. I mean, it's really the beginning. You know, he took a beating from the <laughs> bandits. Then he kind of got lost his arm to uh, to the sea monster. Game. And who Luffy so later wanted, one shot? <laughs> Luffy one shots and like when he's about to sail. So it's just like eh. I know Shanks is powerful, but right now we, we have nothing to base it on. But we have some for Kaido and obviously for Blackbeard. I mean, two devil fruits scarred Shanks in the past. Yes, you yes. gotta give him number one, bro. Yeah, I'm all over it with uh, right there with you with Blackbeard. With Shanks, I think you know the daily duels with Mihawk that's quite a feat. Yep. And then when him and Whitebeard meet, just the collision of hockey, it's shattering the ship. Yeah, and it just basically like ripped the skies apart. Right. And I, I believe I read a thing from Oda himself. It's not in the manga. I believe it was just a statement. It could be wrong yeah. or not. 
But I, I believe he said that in uh, Fishman Island, Shane says hockey would have knocked out Cody Jones. Yeah, he sort of knocked out like a hundred thousand and Cody Jones. I mean, I mean that hockey's beast. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like out of Shanks and Rayleigh, who do you think has stronger hockey? Oh, it's it's really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say because we don't know anything. About <laughs> I don't know nothing exactly. We don't know anything about. I'm Shanks. gonna go with Shanks just for the for yeah. the sake of the story. I think it makes more sense for him to be more powerful. Yeah, he's a captain, but Rayleigh is an dark king. Oh, Rayleigh's a monster. Hey, but, hey. I love Rayleigh. Rayleigh's introduction is one of my favorites oh, in the series. Sure, too. Oh, sure. Like when you find out he's like the right hand of Pirate King, I was like, oh my god. Oh yeah, and I love his design. His oh, design. his design is beastly. <laughs> his design is really cool. But I, so I guess Blackbeard at number one, he has the two double fruits, and we're assuming that he's gonna get another one. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm. A, I don't know if you probably heard the theory that the Cerberus. Right. I I'm not sure about that, but I think it's very plausible. And yeah. if not having a zone already, I think he'll get one soon. Yeah, I mean, everyone's saying he's probably going to take Marco's fruit, or he already has the Cerberus uh, fruit. See, I yeah. mean, if he picks up Marco's fruit, that, that might be too much. How, <laughs> how do you beat him if he gets Marco's fruit? Bro? I, don't, I mean, like, if you add Marco's to, to uh, Lightbeard's and the Darkest <laughs> fruit, I mean, come on. <laughs> that would be crazy. Like, even now, having the strongest Paramecia and the strongest Logia, that's, that in itself is crazy, so... I wonder how that's going. All right, now, now getting into uh, like when they go to fight these characters, yep. with Big Ma'am specifically, that's very possible coming up here soon. Yep. I honestly think they're going to end up possibly being allies with her. You think so? I think it's uh, I think it's plausible. I mean, it, it could be possible. Like, say um, Peckham's right. He finds out that the Straw Hat saved Zoe. Right. Sanji could say, "Hey, this is what happened. We could use Caesar." You know, maybe temporarily let's just, you know, calm down or we can ally and attack Kaido because Kaido is the one that attacked. Exactly, you know, because down. that's the only way I can see him taking down Kaido is having somebody ridiculously powerful with him. Wow, if Luffy allies with Yaku to go up against another Yaku. Wow. See, that's, that's like, I think that'd be crazy. Wow. Uh, another like, reason I think this is, uh, do you remember Lola all the way back from Thriller Bark? Yeah. Uh, the Vivery card. I think it's possible that that's a uh, big man's daughter. You think so? I've been seeing that a lot. I've been seeing that for sure. And I mean, it's, it's it's definitely possible. I mean, I I uh, I think there's a really strong chance of that. And then Big Mom, that's another reason for her to be an ally with the Straw Hats. Yeah. So those are like all my pieces of them coming together and then going after Kaido. That would be cool, man. Because right now, Jack, he seems immensely powerful. Oh, the the calamities and all that. We we've, we've not been introduced yeah. to the other three, but Jack is like stupid strong crazy strike it's like him holding off the dukes who i feel like you know fairly powerful in their own right you know for that long i and they were switching in and out that's that's crazy like that's yeah. ridiculous i mean it's dope though it's dope. uh so like if if they go up against him like they have to just bring in so many people it might be luffy's entire fleet if he doesn't pair up with a uh, big man or I, it's gonna take a lot and that's the thing it's like he just got the fleet, and for him to, like, I didn't expect for the fleet to be involved, like, this quickly, but, I mean, it, it's possible. I expected the fleet to get called, like, I don't know, maybe versus Blackbeard or something. I don't know, but I guess it makes sense against Kaido. Yeah. Because he I, has that huge army. I, I, but, you, you never know where they're going to go to next. I think the, no. the whole Cake Island and Big Man's probably where they're leaning towards going next. Right, exactly, because at first we were like, all right, they're definitely going to Wano. Right. They were like, ah, well, they got to go save Sanji. And it's like, ah, right, well, now they gotta go to, because more than likely, signs with Big Mom, maybe. Like, <laughs> so they're going to Big Mom, Cake Island. So, and, and like, they're, so they're always flipping the script on you. Like, way back in the day, they're like, we're going to Fishman Island. Then, like, right. four years later, they go to Fishman Island. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, I know everybody wants to see Wano because that could be the development of Zoro. Oh, but I'm, I don't I'm, Zoro really needs a sword fight, like, ASAP, a beastly one at that. He needs a fight that actually makes him sweat. It, it's been a long time. We need to see him open that eye or something. Exactly. Make him use Ashram. Like, we need that fight. Because right now, he's been toying with everyone in New World, including Hody Jones underwater, yeah. which is ridiculous. Was, uh, I'm not a, as much of a manga guy. Was that in the manga as well? Do you remember? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah I believe, yeah, it was. Oh, man. It's like, that, that, that blew me out of it. I, I was <laughs> like, how in the world is the, the main guy just getting toyed with by Zoro underwater? 
I mean, I'm like, man, if Zoro had an oxygen tank, it would have been over right there. Yeah, over. Like, well, that just shows how basically father Hody was. Like, uh, he wasn't yes. strong at all. Uh, Hody, he's a pretty weak character. That arc, like, you know, it's a, it's a showcase arc for new abilities. Pretty much, pretty much. It was just them showing showing off what they could do. I mean, X, it should been should have been more of a test. I, oh, I wish it would have been. <laughs> You know, it, it, you expected more, especially after what they went through with Arlong. I expected the Fishmen to get more of a fight, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a great fight. I, honestly, though, I actually really liked that arc. A lot of people are pretty down on it, but as a whole, the, the more times I went back and watched it, the more I think oh, it's not that bad, really. The thing is, I enjoyed it for different things. You know, like right, it's uh, not the fight. <laughs> right. I um I liked um. When Luffy uses Conqueror's Hockey, I like that moment when Zora mentioned it. Oh, that um, was different great things movie. like that I enjoyed about the art. Like seeing Red Hawk. Like, like the, what, what it is, like is that. it's going to come back big in the, in the future because they're talking about Luffy destroying the island. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of setup for things to come in the future that I think people kind of overlook because it doesn't have some of the more exciting moments. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I, <laughs> if you go down a lot of people's list, Fishman Island is kind of like. As far as it's at the bottom, right. a lot of this because they, after right after the new world, a lot of people expected like crazy just straw has to be pushed to the brink. But it's like if they're pushed to the brink in the first arc in the new world, it'd be like okay, so you train for two years and you still don't measure up. Exactly, like, you, you know, can't have that big of a problem right off the bat. Yeah. So it, either way, people are gonna complain. So. I mean, I'd rather it that way because there's still some power scaling things you got to figure out because we still don't know exactly how strong Sora is because you don't think he went out loud. We believe Sanji's holding back. Luffy could possibly have another gear. And the, the others, I mean, those are just, you know, toss up right there. So. Yeah. Zoro, I think Zoro's ridiculously powerful at this point in time. I do too. I, I do too. Like, uh, there's a lot of people that do Sanji versus Zoro. At this point in time, in my mind, Zoro's a lot stronger than Sanji. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, he's, yeah, he's a lot. Wow, I'm not as I'm not as bullish on that. I believe they're pretty close. This is the thing. Like, throughout the series, like, they've been I mean, for the most part, even, right? I mean, they had the different fights or whatever. Zoro's had a lot more epic moments. Zoro, Zoro always gets the second strongest gather. He does. He does. And it's like, based on that, you can assume that Zoro is stronger than Sanji. But I think Sanji is, if he's not like as strong as Zoro, he's right there. I don't think the gap is as big as it's been portrayed in the New World. Because we haven't really seen much from Sanji except the Skywalk. Yes. You know, Sanji, he's not got much shine in the new world, and I'm really hoping with the no. upcoming events in the manga they change that. Uh, because oh, you know yeah. how I said that uh, I think Zoro is much stronger than Sanji. I bet 100% believe, but I actually like Sanji as a character a lot more than Zoro. Wow, I mean, I love Sanji. I mean, Zoro's my favorite character, but I know Sanji. Sanji's ridiculously powerful. Is he? Just, I believe he's holding back because he's probably embarrassed at his power. I don't <laughs> think he's like embarrassed. But what I'm hoping is he learned those recipes, but he found a way to kind of cater it to his fighting technique. So it's, it doesn't look like, you know, their recipes. Like, right. you know, Sanji, he, he kind of came up with his own recipes. So, something That's I would like I mean. to see from Sanji, you know how he makes the fire for the Diablo Jamlo or whatever. Right. I would like uh, maybe like some blue fire or something, the hottest form of fire. Uh, that, would, that would be pretty dope to see something like that. With. That would be really dope. Like... If you could like increase like the, the level like a thermostat like if it's, yeah like, the temperature of the oven or whatever <laughs> the temperature like that's what it is like all right that's not even my that's not even my platform <laughs> <laughs> that'd be dope.